Hi guys, it's David and this video is brought to you by Hedaro.com. Today we're going to learn about the function called concat. And basically what concat allows you to do is it allows you to glue together or concatenate data frames. You can stack them on top of each other or you could glue them side by side. And uh, let me show you an easy quick example. So to start, we're going to import pandas. And once pandas is loaded, let me show you the version of pandas I'm currently running on. I'm on 23.4. Alright, so let's make our two data frames that we're going to start gluing together. So data frame, we're going to obviously create some bogus data for us. We'll go key as the column name and then inside we're going to have three values. We're going to go A, we're going to go B, and we're going to go C. And uh, we're going to create a second data frame. We'll call it DF2 and we're going to change the column to the column name to column one and the values we're going to make them D, E, and F. Alright, so once we run this let's take a look of, and see what we created. So here's DF1 and DF2 obviously they both have three rows in each data frame and they just have different column um, headings and values. So Let's use the p um, the concat. So we're gonna go pd dot now pd. Remember pd comes from not the data frames, but it comes from here the alias I gave pandas. So we're pulling from the pandas um, library, and we're gonna get concat. Now what does concat accept? It accepts a list of data frames. So if we just chose the first data frame and we ran this. We're just going to get the first data frame, which is up here, ABC. Now, if you try to glue the same data frame to itself, you're going to see what it does. It literally stacks the data frames together. ABC stacked on top of ABC. Also, notice that you're going to have this index repeated 012, 012. If you wanted to say 012, 3, 4, 5, you're going to have to pass another parameter. And if we go shift tab, you'll see there's one called ignore index. And if you pass it here, ignore index, and you make that true, all of a sudden we got zero all the way down to five. So we we corrected that issue. Now let's um let's now glue DF1 and DF2, and you'll see that things change. Since they have different columns column names you kind of get the outer join if you see all this NANs you'll kind of get the outer join of the two data frames now this little pink box here it's just a warning that says a future version of pandas will change the way this works and um, if you want to accept future behavior you can pass sort equals false so on um, it's not a big deal but to get rid of this box you're gonna have to pass it in sort and, and that will remove the warning. Um, again, you get the zero one twos. You can fix that by passing the reset index if you would like. There's also uh, the axis uh, parameter that you can pass, and instead of stacking it on top of each other, it tries to stack it side by side. And once you stack it side by side, you'll see that it doesn't really matter if the columns are different, they just get stacked side by side. And what's good about this is you can keep adding data frames on top of each other and on top of each other. And it doesn't matter what order, um, they're just going to keep getting stacked. Now, now that I've shown you this, now when do you actually use this and when have I used it? Well, sometimes there is. Um, there are times where you're just reading files for maybe a text file or an Excel file or a CSV file 
and you're doing some sort of loop, maybe you're looping through a folder inside um, your, your, your personal computer or a network drive at work, and you're grabbing data from a file and you stick it in a data frame, and then you're grabbing the next file and you're sticking it into a different data frame. So if you do that, at the end of the day, you're gonna have a list of a bunch of data frames, maybe similar to this. Maybe all these data frames represent a different file you read. And at the end, you can just do pd.concat and glue them together. Maybe you want them to go like this side by side, or maybe you want to stack them on top of each other. It doesn't matter. Um, this is an easy way to glue them. Um, and I hope this video was very useful.